What's going on guys? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we have the 50 Beowulf. This is a very interesting, very powerful caliber that we have done a video on once before. It's probably been like a year ago now. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. We shot a lot of targets, did a lot of damage, and it was a very fun video. But what we didn't do is a self-defense test. So today I've got the 50 Beowulf back out with a ballistic dummy head, and we are going to see how effective would a 50 Beowulf be in self-defense? Let's do it. All right, guys, here is the rifle. This is the Alexander Arms 50 Beowulf. Last time I checked, there weren't too many companies making these rifles. I've really only seen Alexander Arms. It takes 10 round mags and there's the cartridge. The 50 Beowulf has many uses, but it was primarily designed to be an engine stopper at vehicle checkpoints because of its ability to defeat hard barriers and not be affected by it. So it's obviously a beast. I don't have too much ammo left. I shot most of it in the first video. So I'll just go ahead and shoot one round to show you guys how powerful it is. Then we'll start shooting stuff with it. Such a beast. We'll shoot one more round. I'll put this one on the red target. I'm trying to figure out where the zero is on this thing. So I know where to hold when we actually shoot stuff with it. Going for the red target. As far as semi-auto rifles go in this platform, this is definitely the most powerful one I have ever shot. And it sounds like a bomb going off. <laughs> Let's shoot some stuff with it. All right, we just got a couple targets here, a pineapple and a watermelon. So we'll hit these with the 50 Beowulf, then we'll do our self-defense test. The ammo we're using is the 300 grain FTX. It's a good one, so let's see what it does. That doesn't happen very often with pineapples. <laughs> that was like a watermelon explosion. Holy crap. And let's try the watermelon. It's gonna to be tough to beat the pineapple, but we'll try it. I think it did it. <laughs> it quite literally just vaporized it into mist. Man, the 50 Beowulf is no joke. And now for the part that you're all probably here to see, the ballistic dummy head test. As always, we have our ballistic dummy head screwed into the table using a two by four. Otherwise, he would just fly off that way when we shot it. I'm sure most of you are familiar with these. It's a ballistic shell head with a skull underneath it, fake internals, fluid, everything you would find in a real human head. So this is about as good as it gets for doing a self-defense test. 
Let's see what the Beowulf can do to this thing. Okay, I'll try it from back here first. The holdover on this thing is kind of weird. It's like three inches high and one inch to the left, but it's not my rifle, so I don't want to tinker with it. I have two bullets and two ballistic dummy heads. So if I mess this one up, I'll get out the other one and we'll just coup de gras him at point blank range. But I don't want to do that if I don't have to. So we'll try it back here first. Once again, using the same bullet, 300 grain FTX. Try to get my holdover right. I think that works. Well, I don't even know where I hit that thing, to be honest, because it's all just completely gone. It really is crazy when you get out these big calibers, you don't even see the fluid in real time. Usually you can on the slow-mo, but to the naked eye, it just looks like the entire thing exploded. So <laughs> let's go check it out. Okay, I just watched the high-speed footage and oh my goodness. done a lot of these tests at this point that might be the most bone fragments I've ever seen flying off one of these they usually don't look quite like that I think I hit him like right between the eyes maybe a little bit lower but it looked like a good hit and just as I said on the slow-mo you could see the fluid in real time I couldn't granted there's a lot of recoil so I was probably looking at the sky when the bullet actually hit but let's take a look at the damage there's not much to look at, to be honest. That entire thing is pretty much gone. Even the face is almost unrecognizable. And that is what you call a full deletion of a ballistic dummy head, ladies and gentlemen. And like I said, there are bone fragments everywhere, like hundreds of them. Usually you get several big pieces. This one just confettied that entire ballistic dummy head. We have pieces all the way over here. <laughs> well, look at this. That is like 30 feet from our table at least. Oh my god, I just realized it yeeted the brain all the way over here. That's probably 20 feet from our table at least, and it looks like it's basically split in half. So it probably threw this piece over here, and then I don't know where the other piece went. It's probably in orbit somewhere. And I'm sure you heard after the bullet went through the head, it hit that steel plate. So it just went through like the ballistic dummy head wasn't even there. And that's kind of what I talked about earlier. Why this caliber was designed was to take out vehicles and just be really good at defeating hard barriers. And just so you know, these ballistic dummy heads are not like paper mache. They're pretty dang tough and a lot of calibers like 9mm, 40 Smith & Wesson, stuff like that usually won't even go all the way through them. So they are realistic but the 50 Beowulf just blew right through it. Alright guys, there's the result. I hope you all enjoyed it. I can't say I'm surprised by the ballistic dummy head test but at the same time I kind of am. I mean that was absolutely amazing. Even more impressive than I expected it to be. So the 50 Beowulf is definitely not a caliber that you want to be on the receiving end of. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.